Hey DB, it's Thursday, March 29th. I'm Ava. And I'm Tatum. Here are your daily bolts of information. Desert Vista is hosting a dress drive for the Cinderella Affair. The Cinderella Affair is an organization that takes donations of dresses, shoes, jewelry, and handbags to then showcase them in a boutique. Once at the boutique, high school junior and senior girls can shop for a prom dress at no cost. This organization ensures that no girl has to miss the amazing opportunity of going to prom due to their family's financial situation or their inability to pay for a prom dress. Please donate your dresses in the front office to help make a girl's wish come true. Seniors, make sure you register for grad night because the price is going up. Until March 31st, the price is $100 or 103 by card, and you will receive 15 raffle tickets. The price will eventually increase to $140, so make sure you register now for the best deals. You can go to dvgradnight.com slash registration for registration and payment details. DB Grad Night is also hosting a Goodwill donation drive on Saturday, March 31st from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. in the DV student parking lot. Please bring any unwanted items and Grad Night will earn money for every pound of donated items. See Flyer for a complete list of acceptable items available at dvgradnight.com slash fundraising. Thank you for your support. If you have an overdue English book at home, please bring it to school. The English department needs those books. Return them to the library or your English teacher as soon as possible. Attention juniors and seniors. A representative from the University of Arizona will be on campus Wednesday, April 4th during first and second period. First period is designated for seniors only. Second period is designated for juniors only. If interested, go to the DV counseling calendar to sign up. Every year, Tempe and ASU Police Department and Greek Life and the FBI partnered to host the annual Shop with a Cop Christmas event. This event brings together approximately 75 deserving children, ages 6 to 12, and law enforcement officials for a magical morning, including a hot breakfast, crafts, specialty vehicles, and a visit from Santa and ASU Sparky. The morning culminates with a full police escort to Walmart, where each child gets to spend $150 on gifts for themselves and their families. This year, they want to provide a logo t-shirt for each child, officer, and volunteer. They want you to help design a logo for the Shop with a Cop logo competition. If you are interested, please contact Mrs. Waterworth or Mrs. Rogers for details. The ASU Cronkite School of Journalism and Mass Communications is pleased to sponsor its second Digital Innovation Summer Camp for high school students, June 17th through the 29th. If you're interested in becoming a journalist, game developer, or are interested in media and technology, then this summer camp is for you. This is a great opportunity for any student interested in exploring digital innovation in journalism. Feel free to contact the group if you have any additional questions. The application deadline is April 6th. Calling all students. Grand Canyon University is offering free summer camps for students 16 and older. Come learn from professors and industry experts in career fields such as business, accounting, health science, pre-med, engineering, technology, counseling, education, and more. This three-day, two-night summer camp includes all food, lodging, and fun activities while on campus. Pick up more info in the guidance office or go to gcu.edu slash summer institute to sign up now. Hurry, because spots are limited. The application deadline is March 31st. Summer Education Academy registration started March 1st. Some classes will fill up quickly, like PE and health. Government classes tend to close quicker. Registration packets are available online at the Desert Western website or in the counseling office. All SEA registration forms require a counselor's signature and payment in the bookstore. Classes start May 29th at McClintock High School. Student Council's Teacher Appreciation Committee is putting together a teacher supply drive. Through the end of this week, you can drop off supplies in our front office. We welcome donations of any kind, including whiteboard markers, erasers, hand sanitizer, paper, pencils, crayons, color pencils, and anything else you're willing to give. Thank you for your consideration. Now let's hand it over to Max with Campus Clubs. Hey DV, I'm Max, and here's what's happening in Campus Clubs. Come join us in the parlor for a comical adventure. Come check out the TSTDC production of Parlor Games, Thursday, April tw uh, 12th, and Friday, April 13th at 7 p.m. in the Black Box Theater. 
The Desert Vista Strings once again represent our district in the state of Arizona, well in An Anaheim, California, this past weekend. They participated in two national music festivals and came away with 12 trophies, three plaques, and two certifications, taking first place in both national festivals. Way to go! Now let's take a quick break! Did you know, when you try to stop bullying, usually the argument stops within 10 seconds over half the time? and that more than 40% of these actions of these bullies at least once every week. If just 60% of our population jumped in to help, we could eliminate bullying for a very long time. The world would truly be a better place if everyone was nicer to the people around them. Just saying a kind hello to someone as you walk by them can really have a positive impact on their day. Be positive and remember kids. Now let's kick it over to Chris to see what's up in Thunder Nation. Hey everyone, I'm Chris and here are your DV Sports Updates. Attention DV families, we'll be hosting sports physicals for the upcoming school year on April 7, 2018 in the DV Small Gym. Cost is $15 per student, attached is the flyer for the event, as well as permission slips for students who are planning on having a physical without a parent present. Our trainers will also be hosting impact testing for the upcoming year as well. Please go to registermyathlete.com, set up your student's account for the 2018-19 school year and the necessary forms for the physical contained within that platform. Great opportunity to prepare for next year's sports. Our varsity baseball team defeated Horizon Tuesday night earning seven hits and three runs. Way to go boys. This afternoon all three teams take on Gilbert. Varsity takes the home field at 3.45 p.m. while freshmen and JV are on the road, both taking the field at 4 p.m. Next Tuesday they face Highland. Varsity is on the road taking the field at 4 p.m. while freshmen and JV are home, both taking the field at 4 p.m. DV Baseball is also hosting a military night at our home game on Thursday, April 5th against Highland. We would like to recognize military veterans from any branch within our local community. If you know a vet who would like to participate or want to recognize a veteran for their service, please send their contact info to Ms. Malenkoff at mmalenkoff at tempeunion.org or stop by C212. You can also show your support by showing up to the game and thanking them in person for their dedication to our country. There will be a Baseball Booster parent meeting on Monday, April 2nd at 7 p.m. The room is to be decided. Our Varsity Girls Softball couldn't come home with a win Tuesday night against Horizon, losing 11-3. They played hard but couldn't pull through to make it up. They traveled to Gilbert to defeat the Tigers, taking the field at 4 p.m. Freshmen and JV also take on the Tigers at home. Freshmen start at 4 p.m. and JV at 2.30 p.m. Boys Volleyball has their next game Tuesday, April 3rd at Gilbert. JV plays at 4 and Varsity at 515. Our girls sand volleyball team takes on Corona next Monday at home at 4 p.m. Boys Varsity and JV Tennis face Mesa today at 3 p.m. on our home courts. Girls Varsity and JV Tennis doesn't have their next game till Monday, April 2nd, where they travel to Chandler to take on the Wolves. Game time is 3.30 p.m. Track and Field has their next meet Tuesday, April 3rd at home against Perry. Freshmen in JV and varsity all begin competing at 3.30 p.m. Be sure to come cheer on our spring sports teams as they continue their season. That's all we have for sports. Back to you. That's all we have for you today, DV. Have a great 3D weekend, and we'll see you back here on Tuesday. Woo! <laughs>